Tonight for date night, I ended up bringing the mobile bar. What's up guys, welcome back to another episode. Today we are doing some truck camping in Alamo, Nevada, date night edition. All right, so we are out here at camp. Uh, found this campsite off of I Overlander. It's a pretty cool little spot. We're right by the mountains over here and we got some tree coverage. Carly's about to go start picking up some trash. This place isn't too bad, but there is some glass around here. So we're just gonna pick it up so Rio doesn't get hurt. Oh, Rio. Thank you, Rio. All right guys, got the uh, solar panel plugged in so we can harness some of the power from the sun and keep the goal zero powered on a little bit longer today. It's running the fridge. Sometimes if you, are, if you notice that you're not getting a lot of input from the solar panel, if you wipe it down a little bit, it'll help it get more sun. Cheers. Cheers. Our drink of the summer. This is the Truly Lemonade. Pretty good, lots of flavors. Something new I got for the Goal Zero is this 15 foot extension cord for the solar panel. Because <laughs> the solar panel's cord is literally like five foot. So from the battery to the solar panel, I really don't have a lot of give. Those two sides there. And then using the existing cord, there we go, and plug in the extension. Take this other side and just plug it into the battery over here. And now look how much more you know space I have with this extra 15 feet. Plug that in, give it some input. Just make sure the goal zero is still kicking, which is good. What I need to get eventually is a Dometic cover, which essentially allows it to be insulated a little bit better and just keeps a little bit more protected. But for right now, this uh, blanket will do. <laughs> and there you go. So now the Goal Zero is getting 36 watts of input from the solar panel. So that should help sustain the battery with the fridge all day. There you have it, 15 foot extension. We literally just found a turtle. I've only ever seen tumbleweeds in cartoons. Look at this. Legit tumbleweeds are real. <laughs> All right guys, I'm gonna open up our lounger since there's a lot of wind. I don't know if you guys have ever seen anything like this, but essentially it's a big it's a couch, kind of. I'll show you guys. I call it a lounger, I don't know. This is essentially our couch when we first moved to Nevada. 
We had this in our living room. Couch has different modes. You can sit on it. All right guys, so we got a brand new privacy tent because our last tent did not make it through the wind last week. So we decided to spend a little bit more money. So the original tent that we had was about 40 bucks, I would say, and this one is about 80. So um, we saw this off Amazon. There was a couple good reviews on it, but not a lot of information. So I'm gonna unbox it for you guys. We'll try this again when it's not so windy. Some charcuterie board action. Beecher's cheese. Have you guys ever had this? Because it's amazing. Probably one of my favorite cheeses. It's one Saturday Night Red. I don't know if this is any good. I just saw it at the store next to the cheeses and picked it up. This combination of wheat thins, tomato, basil with some pepperoni because we're actually having pizza tonight. So that was the only other meat I had. And this Beecher's cheese, it tastes, all three of these combined tastes like pepperoni pizza. Awesome. Rio highly recommends it. The mobile bar. So let me just show you guys what we got in here. We got this cooler a while back. It was like from Costco or something, but here on the sides we have our sweetener. So simple syrup. We got some bitters for some old fashions. Simple syrup for some lemon drops that we're doing tonight. Um, uh, and then inside of here, we got our shaker cup. The other part of the shaker cup. So I lined this thing up with a bunch of cool packs so I can store some ice for a little bit longer. And then inside here, I got some maraschino cherries for the old fashioned. And then inside the front pocket, inside the front pocket, I got some sugar cubes for the old fashions my shot glass measurer, and then I got a muddler right here. And then I also have some vodka. So to make a lemon drop, what it's gonna be is two parts of vodka, one part triple sec, and then one part of lemon juice, which I have the lemon juice right here. You want a sugared lining? Mm -hmm. No, it's okay. Okay, all right. I can, I can do it. That's okay. All right, so what we're gonna do first then is the lemon drop. So inside of here, we are going to pour two parts vodka. We buy the giant vodkas at Costco, so that's why we have transported them using other methods. This is actually Kirkland 12-year-old scotch. I just used this Angel's Envy bottle to transport it, essentially. So let's do two parts vodka. There's some hummingbirds mating around us right now, so if you if you start hearing something weird like a pig snorting, that's why. One part of lemon juice. And then one part simple syrup. One part simple syrup. And then one part triple sec. Take some ice. Good 
of a shake. About 10 shakes. Usually till you can't hold this anymore. Why can't you hold it? Because it gets too cold. So until you can't really hold it with your hands because it's too cold. Um, actually, let me get you a cup. MacGyver going on because our uh, the top of our water spout broke. So now, let's put some ice inside of here. Make sure you don't want sugar. Okay. Put some ice in there. Cheers, babe. Thank you. <laughs> Liar! Soup. <laughs> soup. Mmm, soup. <laughs> Alright. Carly doesn't want to lie to the camera, but... It's good. Oh yeah, well, that is good. <laughs> so there you have it. Lemon drop. Alright guys, so now that Carly got her drink, I'm going to start making my drink, which is going to be an old-fashioned tonight. So, what you need for an old-fashioned... You just need some scotch or whiskey, some bitters, a orange, maraschino cherries, and either some sweetener or a sugar cube. First thing you're gonna do, we're gonna muddle this down using this thing, because we wanna break down that sugar cube first. So what we're gonna do is, let me go cut open a piece of orange. So. I'll throw that in there with the sugar cube. And then usually you can put in the maraschino cherry, but what I'm gonna do first is muddle this and then put a little bit of water in it and then put the maraschino cherry in because this is a- Candied. It's a, yeah, it's a candied maraschino cherry. So I'm gonna muddle this first. Creates a little, uh, juice in there and throw a little bit of water in it. Oops, that might have been a little bit too much. That's all right, we'll put more whiskey in there for it. <laughs> all right, so now I'm gonna grab one maraschino cherry, throw it in there, and with that liquid in there, it'll just allow it to kind of help dissolve some of that thicker juice. We'll throw in the ice. Grab your whiskey, usually do two shots, and you wanna pour it over the ice, that way it chills it. An orange zest in there? <laughs> I'm the worst. There you have it. Old fashioned. Cheers, babe. I missed a very crucial step to the old fashioned and I apologize, which is bitters. All right, so I usually do like two splash, two little, there we go. Oh, geez, that was way too much. This is our new camp blanket. Yeah. Oh, Rio, you like it?
making pizza tonight, guys. All right, first thing you're gonna do, get your pan all warmed up. Usually what we like to do first is bake the top. Bake the top, that way it gets warm and then you start, and then you uh, flip it over, and that's when you can start putting all your toppings and stuff onto it. Just do the front first. Give that a second until it is nice and toasty. Red bell peppers. We have just a sweet white onion. You can use whatever onion you want. All right, so it's been about two minutes, medium high heat. So now that is, so when we flip it over, we're gonna lower the heat so that way we have time to put our toppings on so the crust doesn't burn. Let's get our sauce going. So we love vodka sauce, but use whatever sauce you like. Spread that around. Onions on there. And these are gonna be the same onions we use tomorrow for our breakfast burritos. Same with our little peppers here. So if you reuse ingredients while you're camping, save space and save some time. Oh, moth. <laughs> that moth just committed suicide. And then we're just gonna cover this up with tin foil, but let's go ahead and turn up the heat just a little bit. Let it sit there for about five to eight minutes and we just gotta keep moving it. All right guys, so this is probably gonna take a little bit more than eight minutes. It's probably gonna be like 12 minutes on medium heat. As long as you're using a high burning oil, like canola oil, the pizza won't burn as fast. We ended up covering it with a with some tin foil and then covering it with the tembo tusk lid just to kind of create a little bit more heat in there to melt our toppings and not burn the bottom. So it's been about I think, 10 minutes now and we've just kind of been rotating it. And we're looking at the bottom here, not burnt, which is perfect. Oh yeah, that's good. Vodka sauce, guys, that is money. Saturday Night Red. This is actually really good. If you're in Las Vegas at Smith's, this was by the cheese. It's actually from Italy and uh, well, supposedly from Italy. I don't know. Can you trust these things? <laughs> nope. All right guys, so we are done with coffee. And I just wanna show you how easy it is to clean up this GSI Java drip. Grab your filter, throw it away, and that's it. So you could rinse this out with some water, but it, the filter really is the key to making the cleanup so easy. And this is one of the reasons why I love this system for a great cup of coffee.
All right, guys, so we just got done making cinnamon rolls. If you guys want to see how to do that, I'm going to link another video above because it's going to be its own separate video. So check that up. Check that out above if you guys want to see how you make this. The fridge is still running and we have about 80% power going on the Gold Zero still. With just this one solar panel, we have kept the fridge running and the Goal Zero topped off for over 24 hours. Highly recommend this and I highly recommend getting the extension cord because otherwise, if this was permanently mounted on the top of my truck, it, it just would never be ideal because sometimes we like park in the truck in the shade because when it's really hot, the fridge has to work that much harder to keep it cool. So if we have this and the truck is in the shade, that really helps out a lot with preserving the power on the goal zero to keep the fridge running longer. So I just want to show you guys that and show that the solar panel, just even the one makes a huge difference in keeping the battery topped off and keeping the fridge going for a lot longer. So this concludes date night edition truck camping out in, where are we, Alamo, Nevada. So if you guys have any questions, leave them down below. If you guys have any favorite date night ideas or things that you guys like to do, comment down below as well. I'd like to hear from you. If you guys are new here, my name is Caden. I do a new video every week on pretty much anything outdoors, camping, hiking, fishing, adventure videos like this one. So definitely check out the channel if you're into that. Like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks.